Well, what is up Thrive Austin Church? It's good to see you on this Thursday. Today I am bringing you the Thursday devotional and just to make things more interesting, I decided to invite Brayden. Hey everyone. So this is my son Brayden. He's going to be joining us for the devotional today, but uh, we wanted to find out before we get things started just to kind of have a little fun. What are some of the things that you guys are doing to fill your time uh, during this pandemic? I know uh, you know, between Zoom meetings and between the busyness of just day-to-day -day life of being in a shelter in place, uh, what are some of the things that you guys are doing just to stay sane uh, during this epidemic? I know one of the things that's been so important to me is exercise and, uh, you know, getting outdoors. Yeah, getting outdoors. Yeah, that's a big deal. And so one of the things that Braden and I have been doing is like, I like to jog, he likes to ride his bike. And so we try to get out almost every day uh, for a jog, to ride our bike. What are some of the other things that we do, Brayden, just to like kind of? Um, well, I have to do the schoolwork I'm assigned, and I already finished all that yesterday. I just have to read. And I also like to play video games. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, so we like to get outdoors, play games, you know, uh, get that schoolwork done, which families, uh, parents, I know that uh, at times the struggle is real, isn't it, with the schoolwork? I mean, there are some days where it goes really easy, and then there are some days where it's just more complicated, it's more difficult. Um, you know, homeschooling, it's, you know, the struggle can be real at times, but, um, you know, we're making it work uh, in this particular situation with these circumstances, and so tr making the best of uh, the situation. So another thing that I've really enjoyed about this time, besides just getting to spend lots and lots of time with family, which has been terrific, it's been amazing, is that um, as a family, we've been able to develop some rhythms um, regarding our spiritual growth as well. And we've had a lot more opportunities to dig into God's word, uh, to pray, to share communion together, um, to do various things, growing in our spiritual walk together um, through this crisis, seeing to it that our faith continues to grow and uh, taking advantage of all of the, the small groups that are available through the church, whether it's the kids group uh, for the kids or the men's and the women's groups for, for Sarah and myself, uh, Thrive Online on Saturdays and Sundays. It's, it's been really good for our spirituality, but beyond that, just just digging into God's word as a family has just been so great. And so just the other day, Brayden and I, we were just having a conversation about, you know, um, these are strange times. These are in many ways difficult times. Um, but, but what stories from the Bible um, can we relate to being in the situation that we're in today? And Brayden actually brought up a really good story and so I thought I'd have him share a little bit today about what the Lord has been speaking to him uh, through the scriptures. So, Brayden, why don't you share with them the conversation we were having? Okay, so I thought Daniel in the lion's den because when he went in that den, he couldn't get out. So he was basically on lockdown like we were. And you could think of the lions like the virus. And he prayed to God that he, the lions wouldn't eat him, and we can pray to God so that we won't get the virus. And Daniel was safe during the lion's den. So I thought that would be a pretty good illustration of what's happening now. Yeah, that's, 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 that's really good, and that's really true. You know, Daniel, Daniel was a man of faith. Daniel refused to bend his knee to anyone other than his God. And when the king issued a decree that he must bow his knee and that no other name would be worshipped except for the king's name, Daniel did what he had always done for years and years before. What did he do? He went and he prayed to his God. That's what he did. Whether it was a crisis or not a crisis, Daniel did exactly what he knew he was supposed to do, and he stayed faithful to the Lord, no matter what the consequences might be. 
And the result was is that he ended up getting thrown in the lion's den. But the Lord protected him. That even as he spent the night in a den full of hungry lions, God was his protection. He was his strength. And that through that season, God watched over him. And when the king came the next morning and opened up the lion's den, Daniel proclaimed that the Lord had sent an angel to watch over him and to protect him while he was in the lion's den. And it's an incredible story of God's protection and his provision. That even in difficult times, when there's dangers all around us, that in the midst of plagues and sicknesses and wars and disease and conflict, that, that God truly is our protector. He is our strength. He is our strong tower. He is the one that we run to in difficult seasons. And so during this season, I encourage all of us, like Daniel, to have the faith to trust in God in the middle of a difficult season, to reach out to him and look, I, I get it. You know, for some of us, that's just really difficult because the truth is, is that many of us, we've received some really bad news over the last few weeks. And the outlook on the future is looking very bleak for some. And God forbid, perhaps you or someone you love has actually gotten this disease. And so look, I know that for some of us, man, this, this is difficult. It's very, very difficult. But I just want to encourage you to have faith and to remember that God is your protector. He is your strength and he is your shield. And what's incredible is that after the Lord protected Daniel and Daniel emerged from the lion's den, King Darius, who was not even, uh, he didn't even believe in Yahweh. He didn't even believe in the one true God. This is what he says when Daniel walks out of the lion's den. He says, I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. For he has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. What, else, what is it that would cause this secular king to give thanks to God, to give glory to God, to issue a decree saying that the living God is the only God worthy to be worshipped throughout the entire kingdom. What would cause a secular king to say something like that? Only the faith of a man who trusted in God as his protector and his shield in the middle of a difficult circumstance. And so I think actually the church has a terrific opportunity right now that as we place our hope in, in God, we place our trust in Him, we place our faith in Him, we don't get carried away with fear, we don't get carried away by panic, we believe that God is for us, He's not against us, that He's fighting this battle for us, that He is in fact our protector and our shield, that as we stay rooted and anchored in Jesus, all of the world around us will witness this and see this. And then when all of this is said and done, people will be able to look at the church. They'll be able to look at Christians and followers of Jesus, and they'll be able to say, you know what? Those people had peace. Those people were not rattled in the midst of you know, difficult times. Instead, they had faith in God. They did what they've done. They practiced the same disciplines and the same practices that they practiced for years and God was faithful to protect them. So I just wanna encourage you wherever you're at in your spiritual journey, just to remember God is for you, he's with you, and he's fighting this battle on your behalf. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, God, that you are here, that you are with all of us who are listening to this devotional right here and right now. And Holy Spirit, I just pray, I pray very specifically for someone who's listening to this devotional right now, who's going through a difficult time, 
who's going through a dark time. In fact, the Lord is laying someone on my heart who, who didn't get much sleep last night. You're weary, you're tired. You got very little sleep. You're full of anxiety, you're full of fear, you're full of worry. And I just wanna speak to you and I pray that in the name of Jesus, that you would receive the peace of God, that the peace of God that surpasses all knowledge and all understanding would fill your heart and your mind right here and right now, and that you would know that God is for you, he is with you, and he's fighting this battle on your behalf. Lord, I pray your protection over every single person listening to this devotional today. Lord, would you keep us um, safe from sickness, keep us safe from this virus. And Father, I pray your blessing over everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Hey, thanks for joining us in the devotional today. I hope you got something out of it. If you know somebody that would benefit from it, just feel free to share it, like it, tag somebody in it. Thanks again for joining us, guys. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Bye.